Buster, hi. Hello. Welcome to The Remarkable Kitchen. And what I want to demonstrate here is yes. how we can turn plastic into products. So what oh. we're doing is we're putting a value to a waste material that people just sort of discard, throw away without, yes. any, without a second thought. We're turning this waste into a product. Here, this is car tyre. You know, it's really difficult to get rid of them. Yes. But what we do is we turn it into a material very, very similar to leather. It's got all sorts of uses. This one is actually um, yoghurt pots. No, really? Yeah, so we take recycled yoghurt pots. Again, it's an item that's used in the school every day. Right. We re-engineer that and we turn it into pens, rulers, pencils, pads, all sorts of things. OK, they've got to think. You've got to understand how materials work. And actually, they are just resources which can be reused again. I see. Is that what that chart's about over yeah, there? Yeah, I hear. Right. On this chart, you can see this chart. They, all these different signs here yes. have numbers, and these are normally printed on the back of every plastic. Yes, I've seen them. So what you've got to sort of understand is that actually each plastic has a different use, and we've been recycling it for 20 years. In some cases, the same material time and time again. It's an environmental concept, no doubt about that, but you've got to tackle it with science. Yes. Put the two together, we can get the solution in there. OK, so, Buster. Yes. We are going to do a plastic cup into a pencil. Just to give you a scale of this, in the average office of eight people... Right. ..each person uses three cups a day. So that could be 24 cups a day. Now, that would be... Uh, 120 cups a week. Now, there's 52 weeks in an Earth year, so that's 6,240 plastic cups every year. Horrific. All going into landfill. So we're taking waste from, from the, the office... office. Recycling it into a product that can be used back in the office. Yes, that's brilliant. That's the kind of thing I like. OK, we will go and see what we can do in the factory. All right, let's go there. I'll just take my hat off. Buster, Ed. welcome to Thank the you. Remarkable Factory. It's amazing. This is where we make remarkable things happen. Right. And we bring science to life. OK, what we're going to do is we're yep. going to recycle plastic cups. OK. We're going to recycle this thing that we all throw away into usable pencils. No. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this plastic cup into a flake. Brilliant. This machine does exactly that. OK, watch this. Okay. This plastic cup will be flaked up. Flaked up? <laughs> flaked up! Now look what we've got here. Oh, wow! Now that is the first ingredient that we are going to use to make our pencil. OK. Really cool. OK, here we go. This is the magic bit. I've measured out the plastic cup right. into, the, into this jug. So one okay. jug of plastic cup flakes. And, to keep it simple, yes. one cup or one glass yes. of secret ingredients. Secret ingredients. Yes. Don't tell anybody Don't the tell secret so, what we're going to do is we're going to tip that in as well. OK. OK, so look at that. OK, we're going to make green pencils. So how much green do you think we should put in? That's what? a little cup of green. <laughs> I'd go for the whole lot. Oh, you are. Throw right. it all in. So here we go. Look at that. OK, so what we need to do, having made this ingredient, yes. we're going to take it over to the machine in okay. the factory and turn it into a pellet. <sighs> OK, Buster. Right. What we've got here is our mix that we prepared earlier, OK? Mm -hmm. Now, you can see all the different types of plastics that we put in there. Yes. What we've got to do here is we've got to mix and melt them all together right. so that they're all the same, so we make them into a, a material that we can use to produce pencils. Right, OK. The plastic is exactly the same, mm -hmm. but all we're doing is changing the shape. It was plastic before, and it's plastic after. So if you think an ice cube, an ice cube you can take out of the deep freeze, yes. Let it melt, yes. goes to water. Yes. You can take the same water yes. and put it into another ice cube shape, refreeze it, and, and it's, it's ice again. Yeah, it's the same right. ice. I see. OK, Buster, are you ready? Yes. He's tipping. OK, so this machine, what it does is melting it and turning it into a little chip, a little pellet. Oh. Ah, green. So we want to make green pencils. So this is the feedstock the feedstock that we feed into the pencil machine. It's almost like magic, but it isn't. It's science and technology. It's remarkable. It is. OK, Buster, here we are. This is where the real magic happens. Ah. We're recycling this stuff oh. into pencils. The material that we made, the recipe, yeah. it goes into here and then it comes out here. It goes in as plastic, but comes out as, like, a plastic wood. Ah. Goes up through on this roller and then into the water bath. 
That makes it solid. Right. That is one huge pencil. And at the other end, we cut it into pencil lengths. Okay, Frosty, here right. we are. Now, trust me, sharpening pencils by hand is a real bore. It is. So we got rid of the problem. No. We invented this machine out of old bits and bobs. Yeah. Basically, sharpens the pencils at 9,000 an hour. Oh! Amazing. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, here, Buster, what we're doing here is we're putting a print onto the pencil. The important thing is that people know that this pencil is made from recycled plastic cups. Wow. So when they use it, they go, wow, it's recycled. Yes. Plastic is really easy to recycle, and it's a resource. It's absolutely bonkers mm. to throw it away. We just got to use our brains. The possibilities are endless. So this has been a real joy, Buster. It has indeed. It's been really nice to be in your kitchen. I found out how Ed puts lead in the pencil. The inside of the pencil, the part that writes, is made from a mixture of plastic cups and graphite. Like the outside part, it is melted and turned into a long spaghetti-like shape. It is then fed into the outside plastic shell of the pencil in one continuous stream, a bit like making a sausage when the sausage meat is squeezed into the sausage skin. During this process, the outside and the inside spaghetti streams have to run at exactly the same speed, which is 10.38 metres a minute. Once inside, the two parts stick together with heat and pressure. Remember that Ed told us that to turn something into a different shape, you first have to melt it. In the same way you can change the shape of water by putting it into an ice cube tray and freezing it, then melting it and putting it into a different shape mould and refreezing it. Both the inside, the bit that writes, and the outside, the bit you hold, of our recycled pencil is made from the same material, plastic cups. This means that both the inside and the outside will melt at the same temperature, between 160 and 180 degrees Celsius. Because of this, inventor Ed had to come up with a super clever way of keeping the two sections apart. If he didn't, the inside and the outside of the pencil would just end up as one mixed-up mess at the point they were melted and put together. Ed was made Inventor of the Year for creating the process which makes our recycled pencils. What can you invent? That's remarkable! Mm -hmm.